Prosecutors in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington interviewed former FBI Director Jim Comey during an investigation into his former deputy, Andrew Andy McCabe. McCabe, you'll remember, is accused of lying about giving sensitive information to the media, leaking a number of times. Meanwhile, the price tag on the Mueller investigation keeps rising. It is up to $17 million in taxpayer funds. Feel safer? Jonathan Turley is a lawyer and a professor of constitutional law at George Washington University Law School in Washington. He joins us. Now, professor, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. So the Andrew McCabe question, it, from our perspective, again, not knowing all the facts, but it seems cut and dry. We know very well that it is a felony to lie to a federal agent, and that's one of the reasons that, uh, well, that Martha Stewart went to prison or, or General Flynn uh, pled guilty. So we have read accounts that he lied to investigators at the FBI, why wouldn't he be charged? Well, I think that the expectation is that he will be charged. The, the, the problem facing McCabe is the record that his own colleagues created. It was career officials at the Inspector General's office and the Office of Professional Responsibility that concluded that he had lied. One of the key witnesses was James Comey himself. In fact, McCabe's lawyer sort of went after uh, Comey uh, for his recollection. Uh, so one of these individuals is not telling the truth or recounting the facts correctly. It's going to be hard right. for them to walk this line, to pursue people like Flynn and say that they're going to give a pass to someone like McCabe. You know, the $17 million is a really huge amount, but the greater cost to the public um, is that we paid all this money and we don't find out the truth, that we're not going to get what we paid for. And so right. I think the test is going to be, both in the FBI investigation and the Mueller investigation is will we be able to see the facts? Because the prohibitive cost in all of this would be lingering doubts. And McCabe's a good example of that. If, if McCabe is not indicted, then they need to explain to us why. And there might be valid reasons why. But we right, need to right. know where the distinction is. Because I'm starting to sense a standard here in which government officials get to lie. James Clapper, for example, clearly lied, committed perjury before the Congress when he said there was no spying by the NSA. He's still on cable television yapping up a storm. He's on Twitter. He's now selling a book. It, prominent interior designer, <laughs> Martha Stewart, posing no threat <laughs> to anyone, goes to federal prison. So, I mean, am I imagining this or is there a double standard and a troubling one? Well, that's long been the problem in Washington. We sort of have this animal farm where everyone's equal, but some people are more equal than others. And it goes long back before the Obama administration. It is very hard to get justice officials or high-ranking officials uh, indicted or held accountable. Uh, they often get very light treatment. Uh, Clapper is an example of that. When, when Clapper was confronted with the fact that he had given false testimony, he said, well, that was the least untruthful thing I could have said. Well, most people call that lie. I mean, most people say, well, that's still untruthful, right? You were in front of Congress. No, a normal person wouldn't have that least untruthful option uh, when they're trying to answer a question. Yeah, I'm going to try that with the IRS uh, next time they <laughs> ask me why I haven't paid in full. It's I'll unbelievable. leave my business thank, card. Thank, yeah. <laughs> just kidding, by the way, to the IRS, I pay in full. <laughs> Professor, thank you for that. Thanks for that perspective. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tucker. It.